Uh, well, being a public speaker would be the last thing I would have ever thought I would be. I was very shy in high school, and um, I would have never dreamt I would have done it. I was always interested in acting, but never did it because I didn't want to get up in front of people. And In fact, one of these days I'm going to be in a play or something. I'll pursue that you know, a little later down the road. Um, but I just didn't have a lot of self-esteem. And... Um, but then um, I had a supervisor uh, many years ago when I worked at the Y that was a great public speaker, really good. He could sell ice to an Eskimo. He could do everything. And so he was kind of my mentor mm -hmm. in speaking. And it's something that I wanted to do. Um, I worked at the YMCA in the health and fitness field. So, you know, I started being up in front of people uh, quite a bit teaching exercise classes. And so that's kind of where I start got started. And then at the YMCA, there's some... Um, opportunities to be a trainer in different aspects in the health and fitness area and my specialty is working with older adults and so I had some opportunities to do some trainings with that and be a trainer for some certified courses and so I challenged myself to step up and do that and then um, eventually I was invited to YMCA of the USA in Chicago to rewrite a training that's a national training and so I felt pretty good about that you know being selected for that. And so that was um, my, probably one of my, my first step. My next step was, um, oh, is that the next question? No, um, yeah. So in 2009, my husband at the time had a massive stroke while we were on vacation. And it was a uh, very horrible experience. We were away. We uh, were on a cruise. So we didn't get medical care right away. And he had to learn to walk and talk again, um, which he did. And about six months after his stroke, I started volunteering for the American Heart Association mm -hmm. and going out and giving presentations because we're a young family. And that's not typical of your dynamics that you see with strokes. And so I would go out and I would tell my personal story and have the opportunity to educate um, other people about uh, stroke education and awareness. And I knew that I could make a huge impact because we had such a unique story. Um, but I learned that it's sometimes that is much more difficult to talk about your personal story than it is, say, training people to do health and fitness mm -hmm. classes. Mm -hmm. And so that was a real learning experience for me. It was very difficult the first few times that I had to go out and do it because it, it was so emotional for us. Um, you know, because my husband uh, nearly died. And so it was important to me to be able to go out there and educate people. And then my daughter also started volunteering. So she started volunteering for the American Heart Association when she was 13, going out and giving her story. And often when a child speaks, people listen to that because mm -hmm. they're not expecting it to come from, mm -hmm. you know, a young person like that. So those are probably the two big factors in becoming a public speaker for me.